welcome back to my channel. This is Shanice TV, and I'm Shanice. Period. She's a. Shit. <laughs> Fuck you, dog. Y'all see the title, so you already know I'm coming with another little crazy story time or whatever. Now in my DM saying, do more story time, do more story time. So here I am, with a story time, y'all better watch and turn me up, okay? Don't mind me, y'all, I'm trying to door dash while I'm doing this, but y'all see the title. Today's story time is going to be about the time I almost died. Okay, there's a lot of times when I almost died, but this one, it was kind of like, alright, you guys kind of saw this coming. And yeah, so uh, before we get to the video, just don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to turn on post notifications so you'll be notified every time I post, upload, or do anything on this channel. Y'all! Thank you guys for getting me to 5K. I'm so grateful. I'm so thankful. I love all of you guys. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching me. Thanks for the support. And roll to 10K. Period. Anyways, let's get into the video. I'm gonna name the two other people in this story, Jacob and Tyler. Jacob was my friend, and Tyler was his friend. So, automatically, that just made Tyler my friend too. Not my friend friend, but you know, just somebody I was cool with or whatever. They decided that they wanted to get a car. So, this is like, we're fresh in college. I wasn't, I wanted a car, but it wasn't really what was on my mind, because I was on campus in school, so I didn't really have to go back and forth. But Jacob and Tyler now, they wanted a car. They decided that they were gonna go half on it. Tyler was the one looking for the car, mostly. They found a car off of Facebook Market. You'd be like, ah, oh, Facebook, Facebook. I still use Facebook, I don't care, okay? Because my friends, they be lit. Like, yeah, I check Facebook every day. Me. But yeah, so Jay with Tyler, they get the car off Facebook Market, and they get this car from a guy that they do not know. They don't, they don't check out the car, nothing. It's basically like they go, they get the car, and it's theirs. Like the guy was, all right, he coming up a thousand dollars off of this car. But after they get the car, they're like, all right, we finna try to find, like you know, a license plate, find one. And we start driving around the car. Jacob realizes, mind y'all, Jacob don't know nothing about cars. Mind you, Tyler wants to go buy the car. Tyler don't know nothing about cars either, but Jacob really don't know nothing about cars. So, Jacob is swearing, screaming, I know, I know, I know, I know. So we're like, okay, he sees that the car needs oil. He's like, he's gonna put this oil into this car himself. Take the car to AutoZone. And Jacob goes inside and he buys the two things of oil. Like, yeah, so we go park the car and Jacob proceeds to fill the car with oil. This is Jacob. Okay, and then he takes the other bottle that he also purchased because now he, he sticks the thing in there and the sticky thingy that you know to check the oil is halfway. So he's like, okay, it gotta be full, it gotta be full, it gotta be full, right? So he takes the other jug, the other jug of oil, and he, Okay, empties the two jugs of oil and now it's like, it's full, it's overflowing. He's like, it's okay, cause you know, we're gonna drive it out a little bit. Let the oil run down a little bit, you know, just, just drive it out a little bit. We get into that car and we start driving. And I kid you not, we went from right here to right here, not even that far. We went from right here to like right here. And the car started to fog up. Like, when I say fog up, like, baby. When I say fog, y'all, this wasn't fumes. This wasn't hot box air. This wasn't gas. This wasn't none of that, y'all. This was fog. Like, you know, on a foggy day, like, you wake up early in the morning to go walk to school, like, 6 o'clock in the morning. And you see that type of fog that you can't see nothing else in front of you? Yeah, when I say it was foggier than a ch, it was foggier than a ch. Like, we couldn't see nothing. Couldn't even see to drive the car. So we get scared and we all hop out the car, cough. <sighs> Y'all know I'm extra too, so I'm there like, <laughs> Y'all trying to kill me! Like, I got the car coughing, holding my chest. Y'all wasn't even that bad, but like, I just had to be extra because like, why would you do that? Like, come on. If you knew you didn't know nothing about the car, why would you do that? So we drive it to the mechanic. 
we're not too far, so we're like, we're gonna go go drive to him. We drained it out, but like that's da -da -da. the car went through a whole lot of pressure. We probably should have just parked the car and let that shit sit for the rest of the day type shit. No, no, we wanted to go drive the car, have fun. We won't ever catch me with Jacob and Tyler again. I bet you that. This, this is all in the same day. We take Tyler home. It's Jacob's night to have the car. Jacob decides to go get my sister. Are we gonna go smoke and go to McDonald's? We go pick up my sister. By my house, it was only two McDonald's. It was the ghetto McDonald's on Broadway, and then it was the good McDonald's on Market Street. I didn't want none of them. I was not going to Broadway, for sure, never. But Market Street, I didn't want to go there either. I decided like, oh no, I want to go to the white people neighborhood. Like, I want to go over here. I want to go travel far. We got the car, y'all got the whip. Take me all the way over here. We drive over there, we live, we having fun or whatever. We go to the McDonald's, we go through the McDonald's line. We get our food and we drive it home. And Jacob, he swears, as soon as he puts the oil inside the car, the car is running 10 times better. All right, okay. And we're like probably like a block away from the McDonald's and we drive and drive and drive it and we're going a good pace now Like Jacob is driving. Okay. It's all right. It's okay. We're in a white people neighborhood. We're not speeding no more We good. We go cheap. We you know, we going home We get about what? Three four blocks away from the McDonald's probably like four blocks away from the McDonald's y'all and we're driving and all of a sudden we like <laughs> Car starts skidding, we're hearing it, and then it's like the sparks and everything. So Jacob he stops the car. We all looking around like what was that? What was that? Did we hit something? Did we hit something? Is it a deer? Is it a cow? Is it a dog? I get up and I turn around, I look behind me, and I see something black in the street. So I'm looking, I'm trying to look in my head. I'm like, is that our tire? Like, is that our tire back there? So now we in the white people neighborhood, but yeah, anybody's nosy. Like the white people nosy, the black people nosy, the Korean people nosy, the European nosy, everyone nosy. So of course the white people come outside the house. We hop out the car, they're like Oh my God, did you hit something? Did you hit something? And then I'm like, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, like, I don't know. So I'm like, I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's going on. Jacob starts yelling at me like, what do you mean you don't know what's going on? You know we didn't hit anything. He starts yelling at me like it's my fault because I said, I don't know what we hit. Like, of course I'm gonna say, I don't know because I don't know what happened. Like we just all hopped out the car. So I, I look around, look around, I look behind me first and I see that something is black inside the street and I, I look in front of me and I see that our tire is like basically on the floor. The rim is on the ground and there's a piece of tire on top, but a piece, it's not a full tire, it's just a piece of tire, rim, and it's like turned this way. Like the tire wasn't in the direction that it was supposed to be in. I'm gonna insert the clip so y'all can see right here. But like, why did the tire come off? Like, if he was speeding, y'all, we probably would have died. We stopped like a little bit close to the street and it was like, they didn't have a stop sign. We had a stop sign, so they probably would have like, you know. So now we're in front of these white people with the broken car. Jacob don't got no paperwork for the car, so he shouldn't be driving it. It shouldn't be on the road. This is obviously why the car is missing a tire, like, you know. Jacob was driving it. You don't got no paper. You don't even have a license plate for this car. What are we gonna do? He took the license plate. He took the paperwork that he signed. We like hauled ass. Like we could not be here when the cops get here. We are gone. Me, Jacob, and my big ass sister. The moral of this story was don't buy no car for a thousand dollars. Don't buy no car off a Facebook market. And when you get your car, don't drive it until you get infected. Don't drive until you have all your paperwork and your car is actually supposed to be on the road because things like this can happen. Things like this does happen. People are dumb. Sadly, I was one of those dumb people. Look at this car, y'all. Look at this car. Like, I'm not lying to y'all. This really happened to me. The whole tire just like fell off. So, um, if you guys like this story time, just don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to turn on your post notifications so you'll be notified every time I post, upload, or do anything on the channel. Bye, guys.